Hey guys! I wanted to take some time out today. I know we talk about it a lot on live, but sometimes it helps people just want to watch the videos, get straight to the point, get straight to they want to see. So today I want to talk about dominating thoughts and affirmations. So, I know we were talking on my, okay, hi guys, I'm Paisley, make sure y'all follow me, make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure you give me a comment, please, go comment on my community board, okay, I'm trying to get some engagement up over there, go help your girl out. Anyways, so, I wanted to sit here and talk about what is dominating your thoughts, and we had a whole conversation on this, and I feel like it did help some of us wake up, so since my lives are really long, and we just do a bunch of rambling and stuff, I wanted to hone in and make a video about it, so, what is in your thoughts? First off, dominating thoughts are the thoughts that are taking over your mind subconsciously and consciously. Go get the textbook definition, not an expert. But one thing what I do is I always make sure when I have some negative thought go through my head, I remove that shit instantly. I've I've been very, like people talk about setting intentions, I really intend to think positive thoughts. I set my intentions where positive thoughts will fill my brain up. So for instance, okay, let's talk about this. I'll give y'all a little, a little into of my personal life. So y'all know I'm going through a breakup. Y'all know I needed to find a place to stay. Where am I going? Where am I this? Where am I this? And it seemed like everybody that knew my personal life was like, girl, where are you going? You got to be out of my mind. It's already January. <laughs> Ask me all this stuff. And first first off, I like to say it's none of y'all business. It's none of nobody's business. What the fuck Paisley and her daughter's woman because ain't nobody. <laughs> but what I did was every time somebody was like, I don't know how you're going to afford it on your own. I don't know how you're going to do this. I let that just, you, hold one ear and blah, 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 blah out the other I didn't let that sit on my brain I didn't let them get me like girl you think you're right and I figured it out I actually figured it out in a day I just woke up one day I was like oh I'll do this route and I did it and I got it done when I sit here and I think like whoa I want to get I want to go on all these expensive trips this year I want to take my child to Disney World I'm going out of town with my crush <laughs> and I get to just do some paisley traveling. I want to go see my friends that are in different um, cities. I got to get to Ohio because both of the motherfuckers that flew down to Houston to see me are both from Ohio. And I got to go see what it's all about because apparently good people come from Ohio. <laughs> and I, I got to go see my girl Chelsea. I really do. I got to go see her and everything. So... I gotta go see Princess in Atlanta. I gotta I just gotta go see folks. And some people are looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, but I speak it into existence because I'm going to do it. I'm getting my passport next week. Going to get that super exciting. So I'm speaking these things into my life. Also, when it comes to money, when I get on cam, I'm not sitting there thinking like Ain't nobody gonna tell me anyways what I'm doing on here. Mm, let me get on because I need to make some money, but I don't think I'm gonna make no money because I don't have no confidence in myself. I'm not setting myself up for success with my thoughts in my brain. So I have to think, even when I don't like y'all, I've been telling y'all I haven't been feeling motivated, but guess what? I got on cam today within 10 minutes, made $150. And like, okay, girl. You ain't even motivated, but look at you. Because what did I do? When I was doing my makeup, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm telling myself, you got this, girl. You got it. Look at you. Look at you. Look at your pretty face. Look at the way you do your makeup. Look at you. Like, I'm looking in the mirror telling myself, like, Paisley, you're going to reach your goals today. Paisley, oh my gosh. Be grateful right now because you're going to get an abundance of money coming in today. Be thankful. Be grateful. You got this. We're going to win. I tell myself these things. And I've intentionally, every time I pass a mirror, look at myself. And even if I don't say it out loud, I tell myself something in my head, something positive. So I say all this and I gave you examples because you really want to set the tone in your brain. You want to set intentions. You want to set some affirmations. You want to do these things to really attract what you want in your life. If you have bad thoughts in your brain, let me give you all another example. 
let's take it back to 2018 paisley and before okay say i gotta get up for go to work or water oh shit i missed my alarm i done pressed snooze three times i'm getting out the bed i've got 20 minutes to be at work i ain't got dressed right? i ain't did all this stuff and i'm freaking out right then you go oh fuck where are my keys oh shit i can't find my wallet where the fuck is it at oh okay finally got my keys i'm out the door you're in the car <sighs> it would be a wreck today. I'm running late. It's already a wreck. Um, what are you doing? You're constantly just saying these negative things are happening to you. I've had those days. Trust me, I've had those days. But I've also had days where I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I said, you know what? It's okay. And then everything just flows really smooth. I hope I'm making sense. Comment below if I'm not making any sense to you guys, but I hopefully I'm reaching someone. <laughs> And so, I just, it was five minutes and 55 seconds, so I must be making sense. Um, I just really don't have those negative thoughts in my head. I, I do try not to allow negative people in my life or people that are going to bring me down or going to have me feeling bad about myself. Um, because guess what? Those people are like energy vampires and they're going to suck the good energy out of you and you don't need that in your life, girlfriend You not, or boyfriend. You need to make some money. You got to focus on positive things. Another thing, I keep this with me always. Right next to my little heart. It is rose quartz. My rose quartz crystal ball is next to me because no matter what I do no matter if I'm speaking to someone and we're having a conversation that I know might not go so well if I'm talking to my friends if I'm talking to you guys if I'm on cam if I'm with my child if I'm with myself if I just want to be kind of myself I keep this motherfucker with me because it just fills me up with so much love so much joy and I just want to do everything that I can with love and kindness. Even if I have to talk to people that I know don't like me, that I know they're just being fake with me, I still hold this because no matter what, I'm going to show them love and kindness even if they're showing me evil and hatefulness. Um, it also brings me good karma. Good things come back around. Hey. Uh, am I making sense? So... One, I want to leave y'all off with this note. What I've been saying, my favorite, favorite affirmation. This year, things will come for me easily, effortlessly, and in abundance. That's what I use. So try using that. Things are not supposed to be hard. Life's not supposed to be a struggle. We're not supposed to go through this challenging world. Look, we already got all you look outside you see all the outside all the pressure all the trials the tribulations the struggles the hardships but guess what if we mentally put in our brains you know what life ain't supposed to be this hard if you'll find it that your life will be a little bit easier can i get an amen anyways comment below like thumbs up toodaloo